And welcome to my November TBR. It's happening, guys. So even despite all of the rubbish that's been going on with the static caravan that we live in, the floor has just gone in it, and we have to get permission from the council to get um, a new one, and then to get the old one destroyed and whatnot, get the new one taken in, moving out, Moving in is a lot. So I don't really know how this TBR is going to go, but I'm just still gonna do it. And to be honest, I'm doing it in a different way as a way that I could get it done. So without further ado, let's get started with the November TBR. So the way that I'm doing it this time is I have a jar that's gonna be full of golden eggs, more than this. And I have already filled it with Nat Galley books that I've got and also from Edelweiss as well so they're already in these eggs and then with the remaining golden eggs that I've got I am going to like fill them with a mixture of books so like one's going to be from my booktube recommendations one's going to be from my TBR jar one could be from a continuation series, one could be for a reread, one could be from a book I wanted to read this year, and so on and so forth. So first of all, I'm going to start with the unwrapped book. So every month I've unwrapped a book. Some months have been pretty good and I managed to get around to reading the unwrapped book. Some months I haven't, especially if it's a book that I really, really don't want to read or if I'm really intimidating. So I've got two books left now, guys. I've literally got books number one and three but I'm just gonna like number number three like number two just makes it a lot easier so it'll be like uh, one or the other sort of thing and I'm gonna decide that with my phone I've got like an application on my phone that will literally do this it'll be like a one or two you can just do it it's like a truth or dare or a yes or a no um, sort of thing so I'm gonna literally select yeah let's select um, yes no so okay so let's say number one is yes and number two is no so it's right here guys this is the app so i'm going to spin it for you guys so that you can see what it's going to land on and it's landed on no so that will mean that we need to go with number two and then december is going to be number one so this is this one so i'm going to unwrap it for you guys and then we're gonna see what this book is. It's all exciting. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So this is, okay. So the book that's come out is Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. So she wrote One of Us is Lying. So it says here that Echo Ridge is reeling. This picturesque town nestled near the Canadian border experienced its first tragic loss in 1995 when a high school senior called Sarah vanished whilst walking home from the library. Five years ago, homecoming queen Lacey was found dead um, in the aptly named Murderland Halloween Park. And now the killer claims to be back. A small town that keeps losing its homecoming queens. Two murders are still left unsolved. Echo Ridge is not a good place to be popular at all. So, I mean, it's a thriller. And it's perfect for this sort of time of the year. So, you know, we shall see if I can get, hopefully get around to reading this. But this is going to go into one of the golden eggs. So, I'm going to now reveal to you all of the books that I've put in the jar. So, it's actually been, like, really sort of tough. Um, in a sense of like I, I would have normally have liked to have used like my TBR jars or like the recommendations jar but due to the current move and the fact that like most of this room like literally from here and beyond is just full of everything it's full of storage because I'm storing everything as much as I can of my stuff for the move of the home sort of thing so because of that it's just meant that this TBR is going to be a bit difficult and so like what I've done is I've just selected books that are like within reach or books that have recently come in the mail and that sort of thing and those are the ones that are sort of like in the jar. I was sat here and I was like how am I going to access the books if they come out of the jar like and they're all the way down at the end of the room like yeah I was just like yeah I can't really do that so yeah so 
I'm happy with all these books because they're books that I want to read and I was sort of like picking and choosing from these books and like they're ones that I want to read like I say so yes I'm really really sort of like excited so I'm just going to reveal to you the physical books that are in this jar there could be the possible books that will come out so these are in no particular order and you will find there will be a repeat of a certain author as well because I've just been like maybe I've been buying their books lately and just like trying to complete my collection of their books so the first book that I have to share with you is Too Late by Colleen Hoover and this book came out a few years ago now and I haven't got around to reading it came back uh four years ago it came out and um yeah so I, I was like looking through all the books that I don't have by Colin Hoover when I was rereading the synopsis of this one again I was like I can't believe I haven't got around to reading this book because it sounds really really good um so this is about a girl called Sloan um, who go through hell and back for the one that she loves. She does it every single day. She finds herself stuck into a relationship that's dangerous and and corrupt with uh, Asa Jackson. So we do whatever it takes to get by until she is able to find a way out. Nothing's going to get in her way except Carter. Sloan is the best thing to ever happen to Asa. If you ask Asa, he'd say he's the best thing that ever happened to Sloan. But despite Sloan's disapproval of Asa's sinister lifestyle, he does exactly what he needs to do in order to stay a step ahead in his business. And he also does exactly what he needs to do in order to stay a step ahead of Sloan. Nothing's going to get in his way, nothing except Carter. So I'm sort of thinking like, who is Carter? And you know, yeah, so it just sounds like really, really intriguing. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've put that one in one of the golden eggs. And then another Colleen Hoover book, and this is Maybe Now by Colleen Hoover. So this is the sequel to Maybe Someday, which I'm actually currently rereading at the moment. And hopefully I can have that read and completed by the end of the month. If not, I will be reading that anyway, because um, the chance that this will get pulled out, I mean, it is quite slim because, you know, there's like a one in... I don't know how many eggs I've got now, like probably one in 20 chance of this coming out. Um, so yeah, so all it mentions is the return of characters from maybe someday of like Ridge and Sydney and Maggie and Warren and Bridget. And I'm loving rereading the first book again. And yeah, and now that I've got this, it's like a great to just continue straight through. Um, so that's in another golden egg. And another Colin Hoover book is Hearth Bones by Colin Hoover. This is like her latest one and it's not long been released. This is about Becca and she lives in a life of poverty and neglect and Samson lives from a family of wealth. So when they find themselves spending the summer as neighbours, they realise that money is one of the few things that they don't have in common. Their bond is too intense to ignore but the summer is separating from from the start of their new lives on opposite ends of the country they decide to stay in the shallow end of just a summer fling but they don't realize that a rip current is coming and it's about to drag both their hearts out to sea so yeah it sounds really really good and um yeah it's like our latest release so it's good to have that in egg so the next book that's also in a golden egg is breathless by jennifer niven this is her new and latest book i haven't actually started this book yet i've kept it like as on the side of my october tbr just in case like i was slumping and you know jennifer niven's one of my favorite authors so it could have been a book that i would pick up to save myself um so it's been like there as a little safety net um but now i'm deciding to actually put this into a actual i'm just going to remove that bookmark i'm just i'm going to put it um in the bowl uh, on the off chance that it will come out but this is literally about a girl called claudine who's focused on three things which is college becoming a famous actor and the elusive possibility of sex she doesn't need to be in love to have sex sex is all that she's looking for her dad drops a bombshell he and her mother are splitting up so suddenly their life is turned upside down and she has to be whisked away with one of the parents and then she meets a guy called jeremiah um and she sort of like it's like oh brilliant this will be a plan to sort of have sex with this guy but then obviously um along the line she discovers that possibly there could be feelings along with it so I mean, it's jennifer niven as well and i love her books um, another book that i've also put into a 
own egg is legend born by tracy dion a lot of people are like raving about this at the moment this is kind of like seen as a bit like city of bones and i really like the sound of that um and yeah it's a fantasy um so it's literally about this girl called brie her mother dies in an accident so she um sees this residential program for bright high schoolers so it seems like the perfect opportunity but then she witnesses a magical attack for the first night when she is on campus which is a flying demon that is feeding on human energies so there's a secret society of legend born that hunt the creatures down so this is where we get this sort of vibe for city of bones then there's this mysterious mage who calls himself a merlin who attempts and fails to wipe Bree's memory of everything that she saw so she still remembers this event the mage's failure unlocks Bree's own unique power a buried memory from the night her mother died and she will do whatever it takes to discover the truth so it sounds really cool actually i mean i love city bones i love the mortal instrument series in general so yeah it's just be really cool another book they've also put into a golden egg is always in forever lara jean by jenny Han. this is on my books to read this year and also it's to complete a series so yes this is the final book that's in the lara jean trilogy and um so yes continuation of the second book so i can't really like talk about too much of what the book's about but i can give you the main gist of like the first book which is basically lara jean um wrote these love letters like when she was experiencing love from these people and she kept them in a little hat box and then her sister like posts them all one day and then all these people suddenly like oh my god like lara jean is confessing her love sort of thing what do we do and um yeah so it's just about like them discovering these love letters and poor old Laura Jean dealing with it all and all that yeah it's a very very fun series and there's a sort of like fake dating trope that's like in the first book as well and yeah is and the continuation of the second book of like her discovering about um like another person um comes in contact that received a letter and it's just like ah so yeah um i'm looking forward to seeing how this trilogy is going to end i've never read this one before um and i read the i reread the other couple of books um like this year and last year i think and um yeah so i'm ready to finish this series now i'm ready for my heart to be filled with all the awesomeness so another book that's also in a golden egg is gumi ho by kat cho i just keep hearing really really great things about it even now and there's going to be a sequel i'm not sure if it's out yet but like a sequel to this and i'm just like but it sounds really good it sounds right on my street this is a tree about 18 year old um gu myung and they are a gooey ho which is a nine-tail fox surviving by consuming the energy of men um she's half human she has a soft spot for she has a soft spot for people so she won't kill in the wrong way so with the help of a shaman they take the lives of men who have committed terrible crimes so devouring their life force is a morbid kind of justice also she tells herself killing men would ever miss in the bus in modern day um seal also helps myung keep a low profile she and her mother protect themselves by hiding in plain sight until Mian crosses paths with a handsome boy that is her age and he is being attacked by a goblin in the woods so she breaks her mother's rule revealing herself and her nine tails to save Jai Hoon or Jihoon I'm not sure how it's pronounced I'm very very sorry um, for certain death in the process she loses her fox speed which is her gumi host soul and without it she is going to die so when they next meet there's no doubt they're drawn to each other but their romance could be over before it even begins and Myung's efforts to restore her fox speed by the next moon ensnares them in a generous old feud forcing Myung to choose between her immortal life and Jai Hoon's and the thrilling tale inspired by Korean folklore and set in a rich contemporary fantasy world it's an absorbing love story that heralds the arrival of an exciting new voice in YA now I we, you know i love me k-pop and all that um and it just sounds really good and it, i just you know reminds me of like naruto with the nine tail fox and also shaman with shaman king <laughs> so you know like there we have it so another book that's also in a golden egg is incarnate by jd meadows and this is a book that is from my like first year on booktube and so this is about anna 
who is new and for thousands of years in range and million souls have been reincarnated over and over keeping their memories and experiences from previous lifetimes so when Anna was born one of those souls vanished and no one knows why so Anna travels to the capital city of Heart its citizens treat her as a no soul suspicious and afraid of what her presence means and dragons and sylph attack the city Anna is to blame Anna needs to uncover the mistake that gave her someone else's life but will her quest threaten the peace of Heart and destroy the promise of reincarnation after all so I mean I don't hear anybody talk about this book but it's published by Epic Reads and I, I generally love Harp Collins and Epic Reads books um and it's beautiful beautiful cover and yeah i should get around to reading it um so hopefully that'll be a nice one to come out of an egg also in an egg i've got girl online by zoe sag i have read this before so this would be a reread and this is also on my books to read this year of 2020 um so yeah i loved this book the first time around it was it's one of my favorite books and it's been a while since i've read it it's been a fair few years um, so yeah, so I'm really looking forward to giving it another reread and yeah, getting into it again because like this book is just it's so easy going and it's just like no issue whatsoever. Um, it's just it's quite an easy book. So I've got another Colleen Hoover book here. This is a book that's from my 2020 TBR as well. And this is All Your Perfects by Colin Hoover. So this is about Quinn, who the last thing that they expected was to meet the love of their life outside her fiancé's front door. A year after leaving behind their cheating partners, Quinn and Graham in a perfect relationship that seems designated by fate. But then seven years later, their perfect love is threatened by their imperfect marriage. The memories, mistakes, dreams they could have built up over the years are tearing them apart. One thing that could save them might also be the very thing that pushes their marriage uh, past the point of no return. So it's written with emotional depth, just like with Ugly Love. It's a story about a broken couple whose future hinges on promises that, that were made in the past and that reminding us the enduring power of love is the ultimate saviour. Oh, it's Cotton Hoover as well, so it's probably going to like rip me apart, but also be really sweet and like awesome at the same time. So yeah, that's also in another golden egg and the chances of like a Colleen Hoover book coming out is quite high obviously because I've got quite a few books there so a couple of books left of the physical books now I've got The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid also in a golden egg and this was a book that I wanted to read before the end of the year it's a book that everybody's talking about I'm very very hyped to give this a read as well so I'm very much highly hoping that this does come out of a golden egg um so I mean I've had like loads and loads of things about this book um I probably don't really need to like tell you what this book is about but it's about a Hollywood icon called Evelyn Hugo they want to tell the truth about their glamorous scandalous life so she chooses a very unknown magazine reporter called Monique to write her story and no more is no one is more astounded than Monique herself so she's determined to use this opportunity to jumpstart her career and she listens in fascination for making her way to Los Angeles in the 1950s, leaving the show business in the 80s and the seven husbands that are along the way. So Evelyn unspools a tale of ruthless ambition, friendship and forbidden love and as Evelyn's story nears its conclusion it becomes clear that her life intersects with Monique's own tragical and irreversible ways. So oh man I mean I loved 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 Daisy Jones and the Six by Terry Jenkins Reid and I I just I've heard nothing but really really good things about this book so yeah I'm very very hyped to give that read and I hope that it comes out and then the last book is what I've shown you before and that's the unwrapped book um which you can keep a secret by Karen M McManus and that's the last book that's in the golden egg out of the physical books I'll we'll have my cats again to pick the books so like what i'll do is like i will like select um a random few from the bowl and then like i'll get like the cats to like the first one that they bat would be like the first one that i read sort of thing um i don't know whether i should pick a certain amount for november like maybe i pick like four out of the bowl and then go from there or i don't know whether I should like pick five I don't know it's gonna be a busy busy month I don't know whether to do like one a week or something and like video every time 
I've read that book and be like what one do I read next video the cats again picking the next one and then upload it like that as a short video so I might do it that way um, but I just wanted to reveal to you the books that are in the bowl as this part of the video and um, yeah we shall I, I shall decide what I will do so I'm gonna leave the pile of books in the bookshed and then on the first week of November I'm gonna literally like get the cats to pick out a couple of books for that week and then I will read those books and until I finish those books then I'll film an updated video onto my channel of like the next couple of books that the cats pick and so on and so forth um, so that way I'm not like straining myself to read or like forcing myself to read um, and that sort of thing and then I you know it's easy just to like relax even if it's like one book a week or something if I find that it's going to be a really, really busy week I might just like get the cast to pick out like one book sort of thing um, so that way I'm still I've still got the randomness there I've got the fun there with the cats doing it um, and you know it's it'll all work out it'll all work out it's just it's a busy time it's a very busy time so guys I am part of a book club a few of us got together on Facebook and we are booktubers all together and we have created this book club called Totally Booked and um, we've got a Twitter, we're hopefully going to have a Discord and an Instagram and everything and for the month of November we are going to be reading Mexican Gothic and this I managed to snag on the Kindle sale for 99p so it's brilliant so that's the book that we're going to be reading together and then near the end of the month we're going to be discussing this book on Sabrina's channel I'm going to link all of these details in the description box below if you like to check them out so it'll be a link to the Twitter it'll be a link to any other social media that we have created as well by then and um, you know if it's still in progress I will up update it as soon as it's like been up like updated sort of thing um but yeah really really excited like to have a nice book club together and like it'd be good to like read books together and also it's branching out it's not really the sort of book that i'd be like reading but it's a book that everybody's like reading at the moment so like you know i'm always up for reading a book that's out of my comfort zone especially along with other people and discussing it and everything and um you know it's like a sort of like gothic horror book not really the sort of book that i would read myself but you know it's cool to read those sort of books along with other people. So that is the end of this video, guys. Woohoo! So those are the physical books as well as the Net Galley and Edelweiss books that are in the bowl of golden eggs. They're all in here now, guys. They're all in here now. I'm very, very excited to like like see what comes out. I think it's just gonna be nice and it's a great random way of doing this. And you know, that way, like it's just a way of like mixing up books so like books that I want to read like review books and you know also a bit of randomness as well like when when that new place gets sorted um obviously like when all of the storage comes out of here and into the new place um I will have access to my book shed again and then I can do things like drawing things out of the TBR jars to go into the egg sort of thing and like mixing up a bit or like putting some books I've had on my TV for a while like they're literally like sat next to me just like Katie you haven't read us in years and I'm like I'm sorry <laughs> so yeah it's a bit of a situation really um but yeah I'm, I'm liking the mix of books I like the fact that I've got books I want to read as well as like review books so like it's handy to sort of like have a mixture of all sorts of books and you know it's good to because it's also books that I want to read as well so like it's not like I'm missing out so whatever book comes out I'm not going to be disappointed by it because it's a book that I want to read and yeah so it's exciting so that's it for me guys thank you very much for watching my video as always keep smiling keep reading and be happy all of my social media links as always are linked down below in the description if you'd like to follow me elsewhere twitter instagram goodreads is all there let's be friends let's talk about books let me know what books you're planning on reading for the month of november and how you did for the month of october like how did you do like i didn't do very well at all because like everything happened <laughs> But life happens, life gets in the way sometimes, like I'm not like mad, um, it just it, it's all happened and it's a stressful time for me and it, 
it will get sorted <laughs> it will eventually get sorted once everything gets sorted i always try and find a way like oh like once i get settled down i'll get some reading done every time i get settled down something happens it's just oh, 2020 is just a year i want to forget about already it's just it's a crappy year and i'm done with it but that's it from me guys keep smiling keep reading be happy most importantly stay safe my name is katie and i will see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye